Hello, the Neon King here. Today, I'm going to be talking about using a controller to play your favorite MMOs on PC. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification to see all my new content. Now, this should work with almost any USB controller. And today, I will walk you through setting up a controller to play EverQuest 2. Keep in mind, you will need macros in order for this to work. If you don't know what a macro is or need help setting one up, please watch my macros and hotbars tutorial video. The link will be in the description of this video. Now, to get started, you will need to download the software joy to key You can find the direct link to the software in the description. Once joy to key is downloaded and opened, it will look something like this. Next, plug your USB controller into your PC and confirm each key by activating a button and the corresponding function will then show in yellow. To edit these functions, simply double click the desired button. Now. With this setup, you will only need to use the keyboard and mouse tabs, avoiding the rest of the tabs. Now, to add a key, click on the box to the left to highlight it, and then on your keyboard, press the desired function. You can set up to four functions to this key. To add a mouse function, click the mouse tab and check the box for the desired pointer direction, left click right click and so on the speed on the mouse page is always set to 50 but i find around 35 to be a bit more comfortable sensitivity now here is the complete layout for the everquest 2 controller settings please copy this into your own joy to key software keep in mind that the green highlighted keys have two functions if you need more time to review these settings, please pause the video and continue when you are ready to set up the in-game settings needed for this to work. Now, if you are ready, please open EverQuest 2, click the EQ2 logo in the bottom left hand corner and go to Options. Once on the Options page, go to the Control tab, Targeting Keys, scroll to the option Nearest NPC. Click the box to edit and press the comma key to bind it. This will be explained later on in the video. The next button you will want to edit is the one labeled select next PC. And you want to change that one to the period key. Now continue to the movement key section of the controls tab. Find the move down key and change it to this bracket. Make sure to click accept and move on to your hotbars and macros. This hotbar setup allows for you to have all of our necessary skills easily available to you. As you'll notice, the two hotbars in the middle are your main bars, also connected to your number and control number keys. Numbers and control numbers 1 through 4 will be your main skills, specifically key 1 and 2 used for your two main macros, 3 for your bow, and 4 for another important skill or macro. Hotbars on the side can be manually clicked on to activate all spells not connected to controller key. Keep in mind, you can personalize all of these settings once you get used to it. But for this setup, key 1 and 2 will be linked to your controller triggers and 3 and 4 will connect to your bumpers if on Xbox controller. Here is a diagram of the controller layout. Keep in mind this was kind of a quick setup. What other game should I make a controller tutorial for? Let me know. And if you have any changes to suggest, please comment below to help others optimize their controllers for the best possible experience. That's all for today, and thanks for watching.